Hi everyone, today I just wanted to give you a rundown of how you can use our um, shared sandbox for access. And I'm gonna walk you through what students will see, what you'll be responsible for in this course. And then I'm gonna also walk you through how to transfer that into your official Skyward Linked course. So feel free to pause me throughout, work through it as I go. Um, hopefully I'll keep it short, but I wanna give you all the information you need about using this template. So you're gonna go into that once you accept my invitation to be a teacher. Now this is not something that students are gonna see. This is our template. This is where we build, and then we're gonna transfer everything in here into our individual courses. So this is going to be updated throughout the year. I'll try to keep you notified when it is updated. Um, right now it's pretty built out until about um, week seven or eight, and then we're gonna start to have to um, tweak some of these pages as we go. So this is what students will have access to after you import it into your official course. The resources module should always be first. Um, this is a link to the virtual office hours that each of us will probably have. You can edit this to be whatever your official office hours or when students need to Zoom with you, you can add that and change that here. I have a Google slide um, with my information embedded. You can um, you know, switch this out to be your own information by editing this page. Um, but this just kind of gives you an idea of what I'm going to expect when students Zoom with me for access. And then, um, so you're definitely going to want to edit that for yourself. You have the access syllabus that all of us can just use. And then this is just for me. I'm never going to publish these two things. I just wanted to add some reminders for us here. So probably around week eight or nine, each student's going to give us a portfolio link. So I just added a little page for myself here where I can add all of those URLs um, so that way I can easily access them here. I also put a little reminder for each of us that it helps students if we move the most recent module to the top. So you'll notice that the modules down here are organized by week, and then I'm only gonna publish one week at a time. So I have everything for week one published and ready for students to view, and they can kind of work through that at their own pace throughout the week. And then when week two rolls around, I'm gonna go ahead and publish week two, okay? But I wanna keep that hidden for students right now, I'm not ready for them to view it. So this means that when week two rolls around, I'm going to publish it and I'm going to move that up to the top. So that's the first thing they see under the resources module. I'm also going to train students that they should always start the week by coming to the weekly overview. This is going to give them a glance at what they need to do. I've given students um, a navigation rundown of our access canvas that every student can use. So you can kind of prompt them to look at that. And then each day has, hey, this is what you should be doing for access. These links here will link directly to the access assignment that they need to do. Both of these are worth 10 summative points, so they need to make sure they do these um, during week one. Um, you're still going to have daily points, and daily points really are just going to be, did they fill out their digital planner for you? Were they working on what they need to work on? Okay, So that's how they're going to use modules. Um, you can come in here and look at student work if you need to, but really you're going to be working out of the gradebook. And you can see student submissions here, um, punch in the grades for any given assignment. Remember, we're not going to be grading in Skyward. You're only grading here. And then you're going to sync those grades over to Skyward. So you'll notice these are those two assignments for week one that students are going to complete. And then you also have those daily points that we've always had. That's really, again, just if they're filling out that digital planner, um, you're going to type in their points there. I also want to show you one more thing in modules that I added just for myself. So at the very bottom, I added a place where if you choose to, you can add your IEP at a glance documents for each one of your students in your access class. That um, document is kind of built in um, and needed for the course. So um, that's why I put a spot for it because I feel like I'm going to be accessing those a lot. So what I did is I went to, um, I went to Embrace and I downloaded all of the uh, IEP summaries for each of my kids. And what I can do is I can um, have, let's see if I can find them here. So I had them in downloads and all of my students here, I can just kind of use the shift button and I can drag all those to be in this module. So that way I can easily access those files. So just a choice, it's not necessary, but it's so you don't have to keep logging into Skyward or embrace to add those in, okay? So now if you need to take a pause, but I'm gonna walk you through how you can import this template into your official Skyward course. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go to my official 
blank access class for the year. This should have, um, it should be blank and you should see that all of your students in access are automatically enrolled. These are all the kids I'm gonna have in access ready to go for me. I need to get that template in here so I'm not just creating things from scratch. So I'm gonna to go to the home page, and I'm gonna do import existing content. I'm gonna do copy a Canvas course, and then I'm gonna find that access sandbox. So it's called 2021 access sandbox template. Okay, each one of you should have access to that. And I want to transfer all the content in that course. And I'm going to go ahead and import that. Okay, once you do that, you shouldn't have a blank Canvas course anymore. You're going to have that template in your individual access class. Just as a heads up, I'm going to start adding things. We're all going to start adding things to that template as the weeks go on. So you can do the same process each time something new is added. So, But this time, you're probably just going to do select specific content, and you can pull in anything new that's been added. So kind of keep this as a reminder that you can just keep adding stuff that's um, in that template. So I hope that helps. If you have questions, please reach out. Um, but hopefully this helps you at least get started so you don't have to start from scratch.